The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Money Masters. Let's go to Carlos in California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? I yeah. want to thank you guys for all that you do for TFNN. I've been a tiger for over 10 years. I actually started That's listening cute. to you before I even speak a word of English. Oh, really? And the, yeah, and the, and the thing that captivated me was when you make like, rah! I was like, wow, what, what is that? That is so cool. And, and where I are didn't you from? Think it's serious. I'm from the south, uh, actually the, the northwest part of Mexico. I love right it. Right next to Guayabitos. Okay. It, it's the, uh, close to Puerto Vallarta. Okay, oh, cool. So, yes, and uh, I listen from there. And then when I arrived here, I married my wife. And then I keep listening to your radio station. That's a and beautiful it, thing, It's such man. a great thing. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. And bottom line, folks, okay, everything is green. It's going to be green from now on. Never turn red again. No doubt about it. Dow's up oh, now I'm ready to sell. When you throw in the towel, I'm ready to sell. Dow's up, Dow's up 13. Uh, Nasdaq's up 12. S&P's up 3. You get the gold contract up a buck 60. Silver's up 20 cents. You got platinum up 11 bucks. That's interesting. See, platinum's crawling on uh, gold now. It has been for quite a while now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, the, the ratio, you're going to see that ratio go flip right back the other way, folks. That, that was a, an anomaly of uh, 22 years, which is yeah. That, that Yes, yes, yes. Uh, plat, uh, let's see. Copper up uh, five pennies at 392. You got uh, light sweet up a buck 33 at 99. You get bonds down 12. Now, it's all about the dollar again. Now, the dollar this morning, folks, has tested the low twice. And, on, the, on the intraday chart. Yeah, on, on the intraday, intraday chart okay. now. Okay. okay. And rejected it. Okay, so this is going to get really wild watching this shake out because the first time down, um, you know, it basically, so the low that I'm talking about is 78.58. Okay. Uh, that's 78.58. That was the, at 11 o'clock yesterday. Right. Okay. You had contracts of 2100. We came down there this morning. I was digging it this morning. I was getting down there because I knew 0300, it was down there with nothing. Right, 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 right. Now, right. what you had is that the first sign of strength was 20 minutes ago. You know, and they got it into the 78, 68 area. You know, we'll see whether it can uh, rock. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. And, and, and of course, uh, today, I think today's Weird Wally Wednesday. What day is it? Oh, I got I to look Wednesday. at I got to look at the uh, actual. Well, it might not be. It might be still too early. It all depends what ta what time. Uh, uh, Wait, Wally Wednesday, folks, is the Wednesday prior option expiration. I got to look at a calendar. Yeah, it might be next Wednesday. But. Uh, it is Weird Wally Wednesday. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So this is early. So Weird Wally Wednesday is all about the week prior yes. to option expiration on a Wednesday. Now, check this out, because this is where this gets really interesting. That a guy named Dean Wallenchuk, okay, really great market timer. He's the guy that came up with this. Yeah. This, is, this goes all the way. Back. I used to have him on a lot in the 90s. That's cool. That's cool. And... That's where it, it's, it's, we, he's a trip of himself anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what it was really about was that... <laughs> so he, didn't, he didn't name it. Somebody else named it on his behalf. I think they did. Yeah. You know? I used to ask, him, came, I, I used to ask him about it on the air. Yeah. And what he explained was that he picked up this phenomenon that... And this doesn't happen anymore, folks, by the way, okay, because the, the, the options are always getting turned. But, yeah. but what has happened is that still highly, it's a highly volatile day, okay? So factually, one thing hasn't happened. But let me, the factual part about it, that used to happen in the 90s, even at the beginning of 2000, even probably up to 2005 or six, yeah, was that the... Um, when they would turn over options, yeah. meaning from one month to the next month, most folks seem to do it the week prior to option expiration, the big funds. Yeah. So you'd have volatility through the wall. Because yes, yes, yes. what happens, folks, is that if you know that you have the largest positions inside the option market and you're a fund, the way you do it, right, is that 
you are pushing equity out on one side and options out on the other, and whack, you're whacking people in the back of the head so quick, you can't, you can't, it, it's just wild. No, 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 okay? for sure, for sure. So they see high volatility, and at, at the end of the day, you know, they're even trades. Yeah. Bottom line, that's how this came about. And now, of course, we get weekly options, which, which are huge. We get hourly options. We get all well, and Madex. <laughs> we get hourly options. In fact, I'm going to put it. I'm going to put a trade on right now. Okay, good. Yeah, we get. I, well, I, I okay. got to. I got to sign into this okay, thing. Okay, okay. So we'll sign. Hey, hey. My, look, we might as well because I was telling folks that you know the market's not out of the gate today. No, in, in fact, <laughs> well, we're going to have to do like a song and dance. You know, after folk, your yeah. happy birthday uh, rendition yesterday. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not in here at the uh, four to five uh, o'clock hour. Did you also sing happy birthday? I didn't. I, I wish her happy birthday. Okay, but you know, okay. we had yeah, you. You got actually the call this morning that uh, Tom from Pittsburgh. Yeah, his father's ninety-seven. No. Yeah, and you know what? Oh, you know, it's really cool. Oh, this, 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 this is even better because Tom was saying that at his age, his father had him like half a half a life ago. Oh my goodness! Isn't that cool? That well, is I better cool. not put that, that up be, there be, as be, I sign in. Let me uh, hold, let yeah. me sign in first. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, isn't that cool? Yes, I know. Yeah, yes, yes, You're yes. gonna love it. Okay, so let me see. Uh, and folks, uh, let's see. Hey, Charlie, why? let me just get this in here. Now, hey, the uh, great interview that you had uh, yesterday. Well, that was not Yeah, that was, and I, is that is, uh, is that is that just that interview going to be archived at all? Or the interviews, good? I believe it probably already is archived. But okay, I'll, cool. I'll get to this. And uh, folks, I had Chris um, Powell on. Chris is the uh, Treasury Secretary of GATA, and GATA uh, started out as an antitrust action against the broker-dealer community, the banking community, manipulating the price of gold. Um, you know, when you look through those documents... Yeah, and, and they can, it, folks can get them on our website, you right? You can get them right under breaking news. That He did a speech, and you want to download this, folks, and, and print it. And the reason being is that... Going through that and going through those documents, GATT has gotten a lot larger than that. And, and I think w what also has happened is this. And, and what you're going to see, and number one, you're going to see the acquisitions that, you know, they put out first. Yes. You're going to see the actual documents yeah. that they've got yeah. off the government. To, to prove their point. Yeah. And then, you know, when you see actually, when, when we know, what I thought was cool about the documents is this. Is that they were speculating in the... Uh, 2003, 4, 5 time frame, right? They being? They being GATA. Okay. 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 Why they were suppressing the price of gold and the derivative on it and what could happen. Okay. And of course, that's exactly what did happen. Okay. okay. Meaning that our financial debacle on the way down. Yes. And, and the manipulation and the taking everyone to the cleanest. Okay. Because this is, this is strictly about power, folks, and it's about absolute power. And it's not, it's not about power in the United States. Yeah. You know, that's what I picked up right. And this Right. Exactly. Is, this, is, this is about world power, okay, and how they're all together. And if you think that th these countries, are, these banks are not together, they're together. There's no doubt about it. And... It's a it's an eye yeah, opener, man. Yeah, yeah, It's an eye opener in a big way. So there, there's information that that you learned yesterday, big time. Yeah, and and, and inside the documents, big time. Able, yeah, yeah. Which is which is pretty cool. That says a lot. And that, that says a whole lot. Right and there. and it's information that uh, you know. The, now this is the shame of it. You meaning that the powers that they are going against. There's no two ways about it. You're talking about government powers. You're talking about central bank powers. Right. You're talking about particularly the central bank, you know, no one gets elected there, you know. Yeah. And this goes right back to the, you know, our constitution and why they got rid of the central banks the first two times. Yes. They tried to get them up. Yes. Because bottom line is that, you know, central banks are about control and they're about imperialism and they're about for sure. all of for those. Sure. For sure. You know, if you're a friend of the central bank, you're all set. If yeah, you're yeah. not, you're, you're toast, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and um, it, it's, let me tell you something, folks. Go, go read it because uh, you're going to be hearing about it more. And I'm really going to get my head wrapped around it. Yeah. Um, and we had one of the, uh, uh, Bill Murphy is going to be on next. I got him scheduled, I think, this Friday. I, okay, I'll, I'll, cool. get to, I'll get to that update, though. Um, but it's, 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 it's good, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it is, it is absolutely amazing that there isn't more that is out there to have people understand what's going on. And I guess that has... Yeah, Ron Paul? Yeah, it, it, what happens 
is that the Iran and you see, and you, see, and you see what kind of traction, you know, how he gets squashed down. That's when he, right. When he, when, he, when he starts talking about this stuff, you know, it's, it's like the uh, media, you know, start they coming do. after him, they you do. know, like he's a kook. That's right. Right? That's right. You know, and that's, that, right. so that's the message that could put out there. And this is, irregardless of whether you, whether you, you know, buy into him, this is, this is not a recommendation from his candidate, but, you know, his focus is certainly on the central banks. That's right. The fiat money system gold or what have you. That's right. And folks should, you should listen to what he has to say. Yeah, and, 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 and what it means for each one of us. Yeah. And that's, what I'm going to focus on is what it actually means for each one of us. Because what I've seen in the, in the, um, the presentation, what has happened, not their presentation, just, just in general, you know, people love to say, oh, this is a kook, oh, that's a conspiracy. This, right. is, not, this is not a conspiracy, folks. Right. This is real. There's a, right. there's a, there's right. a big right. difference between something saying, hey, this is real, okay? So you want to understand what it is. And as I just said to Steve a little bit earlier, I don't think it means that you can actually do something about it. Right. Um, and the reason being, folks, is that... <laughs> Uh, I, if I know one thing, you know, and, and this is where it goes, uh, which is sad, okay, um, there's been plenty of folks that have been taken out for less. Right, exactly. Exactly. And when you're talking about a situation that uh, you have countries involved and you have central banks involved, um, I, I think that, that's what I was thinking about as I was listening, you know, to the, that's right. to the interview going on, and I was like, wow, this guy's got some cojones. You know, because yeah. oh, uh, no, no, big time. you know, big he's, time. he's going out after some folks with some big time. You know, major, big time. major power. Yeah. And I think it's it's the perfect time to go after it right now. And the reason but maybe go after the education, get people educated as to what's really going on. And, and one of the main reasons is that, you know, you have the MF Global deal. You know, there's one point two billion missing. For sure. For you know sure. that the other broker dealers have it. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Okay. It's an absolute no-brainer. They have the money. The regulators didn't Which, do their job. Exactly. That's you right. know. So the bottom line is that, that to get edu people educated, that okay, you know, don't don't buy the deal that just because the government tells us something, it's true. You know, it's not even close. That's for sure. Okay. So let's 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 uh, see what we got here with Nadex. Okay. So folks, there's. We have a new advertiser. It's Natix. Now, if you see how this works, this is... I, I love these things. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> what I love about them is this. It's a, so the ones we're talking about right now. So Natix, folks, if you come over to our website at TFN and you see the Natix, Natix banner, N-A-D-E-X dot com. That's what it is. You can open a demo account. And what these are, what we're going to still talk about today is binary options. And binary options are yes, no option. That's what it is. Will this close at or above? Will this do that? Will this do yeah. this? Okay. And they, they're on, you know, they're on indices, they're on forex, they're on commodities, they're on events. Now I'm going to do the indice today and I'm going to do the S&P. Yesterday I lost on the S&P. But, you know, bottom line is that you never win all the time. What, what is sweet about these, which I like, is defined, it's defined risk. For yes. Sure. Yeah. So the defined risk we're going to do, I'm going to end up doing a daily. You stay right there. As soon as we come back, we'll do it. We have the Dow right now up 12, NASDAQ up 13, S&P's up uh, two and a half, gold's flat, platinum's up 10 bucks. You got uh, bonds down 12 ticks. We're going to be right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. 
Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be at the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you seek to maximize your returns. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You were born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. What I'm going to do, folks, is actually I'm going to go into the gold market. The reason I'm going into the gold market is that if you bring gold up right now, we're down a buck ninety. Um, but this is all about the range that it's in, number one, because we're talking about I'm going to do a yes or no bet on the aspect of, okay, what is it at 130? And if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see right here that at 1735, and we're at 1746 right now, bottom line, that's the last time that we had any, any volume. Which, okay? is, which is 1020 in the uh, morning on uh, the 7th. Yeah, that's today. right. So what we do is this. We'll come over, and if you're watching, what, what you're seeing is this, is that I just brought up gold, and I'm going to bring up a daily on gold. And I'm going to say that uh, by this afternoon, let me see, what did I just, 17, we're at 17. Now, what you're looking at here, so 17.35 was the high of that bar. So I want to look and say, okay, 17, let me bring this down a little, 17.35, 17, 17.41. I'm going to say it'll close under 17.41. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell one. And I'm going to sell it at 65. So this is saying that I'm risking $35 to make $60 to have gold move only $3. How's that? <laughs> that's pretty that's cool. how. That's, that's how. Pretty cool. So what happens there? What, what I, I risk $35. Yes, that's right. I risk $35 to make $65. And what has to happen with this is that I need gold to close. Under 1741, 1741 or, or under. That's right, yeah. at 130. Yeah. So you can see how this works. It's a yes or no proposition. And the way you want to do it, what I think is so neat about these with timing the trade, is that with price and volume, 
and we use the ranges, and that's it's right. like, hold that's it, right. man. You that's know, right. you know, if, if, it, if it doesn't go there, great. Some of these are five to one, folks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it has to do with how far you go in and out of the money. Like w w Steve and I, we've done this. In the break, now in the break, it was twenty-eight bucks. It was twenty-eight dollars. Now they, the gold stock getting hit, to, to, you know. Right. But you know that's how they work. You can check it out um, on their website at TFNN. Um, there, I, I like I like how they work, man. Yeah, I, I particularly like this. And what that's what, it's cool that we chose gold today. Yes, and, and what we're going to have to absolutely do with these is this. This is where the advantage is. The advantage is you have to know the the. Um, range. That's right. The, 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 the range. range that they're, the true range that they're trading in. Yes. Because remember we were talking about yesterday. So check this out, folks. This, this is the well. We'll get this down factually first. But this is what I think would be one of the best reward versus risk. That let's say let's say the true range today in gold is um, I don't know seventeen dollars. Right, whatever right, it is. Right. 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 What you'd want to do is this. Once it goes to the to, seventeen dollars, to right? That's right, right the top bang! Range. Then you put the trade on. It, especially we've got some volume patterns. You get some, you know, no, some you others. Have, no, you get, have to get, put them get, together. Get to put you, it together. You, you're still, you're put, still doing the same deal. That's right. You're putting them together. Yeah. And then what you're leveraging off, of course, is that you're, you're leveraging off the aspect that it's done the full range. Yes. And uh, just so everyone can understand, these these products, someone's on the other side of you. So someone is taking the other side of that trade. You know. And that's and they're a hundred dollars a pop. That's that's a hundred dollars well, per contract. Yeah, but you're not necessarily you're not risking a hundred dollars. No, you're that, putting, it just, you're, it just showed that right, one there. Right. It was a you know, thirty five bucks. Here, yeah, was what your risk was. You had the contract was a hundred dollar value. The contract is a hundred dollars. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go to our man Rick in British Columbia. Hey Rick, what's going on? Well, I hope you do well because if you guys don't pay taxes there, Tom, how does Florida work? You, does does the state look for donations to keep going or what? We get plenty of money in Florida, man. We're rich. We're rich in Florida. <laughs> Why do you think we're rich in Florida? Tourism. Yeah, we get no taxes, man. Well, you got a lot of Canadians come down there too. I know that. That's but right. Like not, and not and so that much. Canadian dollar. Oh, hey, listen to this. You're gonna love this, folks. You know when we talk about the the dollar, right? Yeah. Yesterday. Canada, what do you think Canada did yesterday? I wasn't paying attention. They sold Yankee bonds. They sold, oh, did they really? They sold oh, dollar bonds. King dollar. Oh, they baby. sold King dollar. They, 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 they saw that China was having all the fun? Listen to this. They wanted this, to get this, in on it. They, they wanted to get in on it. And this is, this is what's yes. pretty amazing. So when you look at the, the aspect of why the dollar wants to go higher, well, country after country after country are coming to the good old USA. Hey, now... We talk about taxes, right? Yeah. Do you know that the marginal tax rate in the United States is higher than Canada? Okay, so when you may, could you define marginal? What are you, are you talking about? Income tax? All taxes. Yeah. yeah you, you, no, I'm done. No, I'm talking about income tax. I'm talking. No, but about you, 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 you pay on your houses, don't you? When you sell. Uh, no, we pay all the time, not just when we sell. We don't. Yeah, we we have the ability to. Roll you don't over. have you don't have real estate tax. No. Oh, that's that's why that's why we have a lot more money than you guys. I see. <laughs> you, you, you stay right there. Hey, you know what, folks? You all gotta go to the Cayman Islands. They get the best deal. Cayman Islands. You buy a place for a million bucks. You pay five percent. That's it. I End of story. It. I love it. You pay off the house. You own the house. Steve it. Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We're coming right back, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. 
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer act now what type of investor are you conservative moderate or aggressive no matter your investor personality your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals time horizon and your risk tolerance help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for morgan stanley smith barney simply picking the right stocks is not enough research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks bonds and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments morgan stanley smith barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential find out about what asset allocation and the morgan stanley smith barney financial advisor can do for you call angela o'brien first vice president and certified financial planner of the clearwater florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets investments and services are offered through morgan stanley smith barney llc member sipc in the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. And I want to show you something on this Ninex, uh, Nadex deal, folks. Okay, this is <laughs> Steve and I are playing with this right now. This is pretty wild. Okay, so I, I got the gold up here again. And gold's at uh, 1743 right now. Now, if you go down to uh, the 1735 aspect, it's $84. So check this out. So at, 80, at 1735, which is only $8 down, okay, and you're selling one, you're not going to go, this is going to blow your mind. This is blowing my mind anyway. Oh, look, at it. it's going so, so quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all right. So now you're risking $16 to make 81 well, before, we were risking four to make 95. We were. We were, man. This is just amazing. This is this is pretty cool, man. Yeah. This, folks, you want uh, yeah, to... They can try it out. You know, I mean, they can open up a uh, free account. Yeah, oh, there it goes. It's gone. It's done. We're already in the money. Look at this. It's getting crushed. Folks, I'm telling you, man, you... Oh, this is sick, man. We just pulled up one, folks. you got to see this. We just pulled up one. I was risking 2200 to make 47000 and it only had to go down to... Its, uh, I think it was 1731, 35. Oh, look at how they're popping now. There it is right there. So that's that's down to 26. See, and that was 31 before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened is this. We were risking $5 and making 95. This is this is wild. Okay, let's go back to Rick. Hey, Rick, what's happening, man? There must be problems in Greece. They don't pay taxes there either. That's probably why the, you know, the euro's probably uh, going the wrong way now for gold. But anyway, um, with that aside... Triple M. 
Um, well, for a, a Triple M and the Spies, I'm trying to correlate them uh, a bit. And, this, and I just want to start off by saying the Spies last month went up on fumes relative to, uh, on very light volume, relative to December, November, October. But are you looking for Triple M to possibly go to 90? Yeah, I can do it easy, because there, there, that correlation's not there, by the way, Rick, okay? I mean, the, uh, Triple M has volume at 87 and 99. Yeah, but it broke, like the spies, it broke the 82 area on fumes. Yeah, no, no, I understand that, but you, but, you, you, had, you still had volume come in, where the spies would have nothing come in. Yes, okay. You know, um, yeah. and so let me just bring this back to 2010. And, you know, it's, it's, it's coming into a supply line, but even this is coming to a supply line better than the spies are, you know. But it, it's, it's, it's going to fail, you know. But the, the 87.97, well, it's 87.99, well, actually, you know. We, yeah. You'd like to see a weekly test on it. Yeah. And we, you got the A to and B it, equals C to D at 90, right? Yeah. 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 And, and what, 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 what you also do is you get right into that July 26 supply line, okay. which, is, which and, is big. And, and the spies... The spies technically on a weekly and a monthly, you uh, no the weekly and a daily. You can argue have volume sitting up at one thirty seven, whatever it is up there. Uh, on a pure technical basis, it has volume up there. Not a lot, but it has enough. Where? At the highs, uh, at, uh, what was it eight months ago? My charts are really slow right now. No, I see um, what you're saying. Okay. On a real technical basis, on a daily and a weekly, it has volume up there. Not a lot. No, no, I see what he's saying. What he's saying, folks, is that you get not 896 million, which did take out the uh, February high of uh, 591. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cooking, brother. Let's take a look. So look at that. It crushed. So the. The I forgot which one I sold now. <laughs> the one I sold was well, already in the money. Seventeen forty-one. Yeah, so 40, we're already 17, in the money. Yeah, seventeen forty-one. So, uh, we... so this is this is amazing actually. So it's okay. double the money already. And you got to wait for the setups, folks. But the bottom line is that all we're gunning for is the last time with volume right there, man. Yeah, that's right. And I'm telling you, man, this is a trip. This and if I found out anything, folks, this is this is important to understand the concept too of how products work. At the beginning of products, okay, that is when the largest opportunities are. Yeah. You know, I remember when uh, uh, ProShare started. Yeah. Uh, the, that was one of the biggest opportunities were. And the reason, folks, is that if you took the uh, futures, which I still have on one side, and the ProShares on the other, uh, you had about three or four seconds, you know, what happens at, at within seven or eight months after that is that the the pros get hold of it and you know yeah. then then it's an even deal you know what I mean yeah so and right now you know you get gold uh, you got uh, on the ten minute bar you've got some good volume coming out of it you know and you're going after that uh, oh it's 10, done twenty time frame it's done at, man uh, seventeen uh, thirty five amazing <laughs> it really is it's crazy and there goes King Dollar. You know, King Dollar basically had hit that bottom. Let's go to Mark. Mark's, Mark wants to talk about King Dollar. I think he got a big crown on out here. Hey, Mark, what's yeah, going on? I, I have a crown and a uh, um, a crown and a couple of jewels too. So I guess uh, uh, I guess I'm in the king category. That's a beautiful Tom, thing, man. Hey, Tommy, of all the interviews you've had on TFNN, last night was by far the best. Thank you, man. And, you know, he was yeah, amazing. I, he really was. I, I was glued to my computer. I could not get away from it. I was fascinated by that uh, that's guy. That's great. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I was too, man. I absolutely was. What I loved, uh, and when I've been talking to these guys, I, I, in order to get this thing clean to the public, you need what he was giving us, meaning more facts versus just, you know, what his, uh, anyone's speculation was. And, that, and, so, and I agree, man. I mean, I went home. So here's, so here's my question. It's been rumored for a long time that the Obama administration has been manipulating the dollar. And I'm sitting there last night listening to your, your guest, and I'm saying, okay, has the government manipulated the dollar? We know for a fact that Obama has gone on record multiple times and said exports, we want to export our way out of this bad economy. Now, we all know that exports improve when the dollar is soft. 
So I'm saying, okay, is, Obama, is the Obama administration trying to keep the dollar low so we can have a better export? And I'm sitting there the whole half hour listening to this, and I couldn't get that thought out of my head. Well, I would, I would bring this a whole different place. And, you know, and this has nothing to do with Obama or Bush or anything, anything else. It has to do with what real power does. You know, if you go back to the, when the dollar was at 121, you'd always remember that we believe in a strong dollar. It was Jon Snow or all that. It was the Bush administration that brought the dollar from a buck 21 down to 70. It, it wasn't Obama. He wasn't even around, okay? That, to me, has nothing to do with anything, because the bigger issue, I think, has to do, see, they're all, when you're into power, you're into total power and absolute power. And that's what politicians are all about. And that's what central banks are all about. And they'll kill anyone. You know, when I hear, and, and this goes back from me being in the Marines, folks, and, and this is sad and it's sick, but the bottom line, even in South Boston, okay, if you learned anything in South Boston, when someone's down, you know, you don't let them up, man, and you, yeah. you, you basically do them under. Um, and that's a sad case. And I don't, I, you know, I live in love now, not fear, thank God. But knowing that aspect, every single time, but I'd hear that, oh, Europe's this. They, the United States of America, man, is about bang, you're done. And that issue about being done has to do with uh, power. And has to do with all power, you know. Why? So I, I, I wouldn't get, they... you know, stay, stay with me. I wouldn't get hung up, and this is what people get hung up on, is that it's, it's this one, it's that one, it's this one. It's all of them, man. It's all of them against citizens. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. True power is about getting their friends in, getting the contracts, and that's in the whole world. And I, you know, and and it's it's not great, but I think when you understand that, it's easier, basically maneuvering. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Well, I I agree with you. I I just think that if you talk to you talk to him again, you could ask him what he thought about the. The government, uh, particularly the Obama administration, uh, manipulated the dollar. I, I just think that if I went back, and I, I don't read the dollar charts like you and Steve do, but if I went back and I looked at the chart, I would bet that every time the dollar has tried to rally up to, up to the 84 level, someone in the Obama administration has quietly squashed it. You know? <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, that's my thinking. So I don't know. I listen, Maybe man. I'm a you know what? It's a beautiful thing, man. I, that's what makes life happen, man. I, you know. I, anyway, I'm, that's that's my thought. I, again, thanks for the great interview last night, and uh, it, it was a joy. And we're gonna have him back. We already booked him. He's coming back in a couple months, and we're gonna have Bill Murphy on. Um, you know, and we're gonna get. You know, I want to get. Uh, what I want to do is I, I want to get someone on the other side of this as to giving us some reasoning behind it. I think one of the best things that uh, Chris did bring up, and but this is real, the central, see the central banks tell you flat out that they are manipulating the dollar, they are manipulating currencies. We know now that, you know, flat out, uh, you know, and, and they put money in to save the whole economy, and thank God they did, really. I mean, that, that's, that's the reality, because if money didn't come in there, we'd all be, you know, somewhere else. At this true, particular true, point. true, but that's above board. They go before Congress, and Bernanke says that this is what he's going to do, and he has his press conferences now, so we, and they released a Fed minute, so we all know that part of the equation is copacetic, so to speak. But behind the scenes, like what he was talking about with the gold, you know, and, I say, and I'm talking about with the dollar, it's the same thing. We don't know what's going on, you know. How do we know that someone in Washington isn't talking to some big bank in Europe right now, forcing the dollar one way or the other? They as are. Well as gold. They are. That's my oh, point. They are. Exactly. They, and they always will be. Yeah. It's us against them, man. Yeah, get, get some exactly. uh, plan yeah. goes there, over there's, there. No, there's no doubt about it. That's yeah. that whole uh, elite structure, man. Yeah. And so does that kind of kill technical analysis in terms of no, what we're trying you, to no. Be? No, it's not even close. You know why? Because we're much larger than they are. It doesn't, it, 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 what you have to wrap your head around, folks, is this. If you realize how small the, the group that basically is running things, and, and this is why you see so many revolutions in other countries, people are actually realizing it now, and they're saying, hey, get out of here, okay? They, they always come to the points, okay? And, and in the United States, thank God, most of the points that they come to, however, and that's what I think Chris was getting to, is that they come to the point that, okay, we have to uh, back off. Right, well, we have and, a communication system in place right now. That's People right. People are able to instantly stay in touch with each other, in essence, around the world.
Right. So you have to take down the communication system. The communication system becomes real power. Yeah, it is the real power. You know, I mean, right. that's, well, what, anyway. that's what you see taking place over there. But, but to, they, to answer your question with regard to technical analysis, I say if you just read the charts, you're going to do just fine. You know, the, with, with the trading the patterns, whether they're retracement expansion patterns, ABC patterns, you yeah. know, candle patterns, you know, trade trade what's working for you. Take the the real news is right here on the screen, and you can just watch the behavior. Right. You know, I, I, right. at least in my opinion. The, the, the news right. piece of it, I, I, you know, I, I, I tune into the news or what have you, maybe just more for a giggle, <laughs> you know, than I, you know, the, the charts are what, what really tell me what's going on. Oh, big time. Big time. No doubt about it. All right. Again, Tom, thanks for a great interview last night. Absolutely, man. Have a great one. Have Take a safe care. one. A yeah. 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 No, you know, what is so cool about the charts, especially when, uh, you know, like I've, I've taken some of the charts back into the 1920s, 30s, 40s, or what have you, and you just watch these patterns just repeat after, oh, you know, big time. continue to repeat and repeat. Big time. You know, and, and, and it's great. Yeah, no, it, it's huge. And the, the markets, folks, are much larger than the bureaucracy. And when I have a question in there, who is they, who is them? It's the bureaucracy. It's the bureaucracy and it's power. And if you know anything, you go from the bureaucracy back into uh, corporate, back into, and that's why they do it. You know what happened in Florida? So check this out today, folks. In Florida, there's a bill right now uh, about conflict of interest, right? Okay. And the politicians know that no one's paying attention, and they wouldn't let the thing go through. And all this bill is about in Florida is that you cannot go pass a bill that either you or someone in your family is going to make money for. And they, they say, no, I'm not going to pass it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so think about that for a second. That, you know, that is, that is just blatant. And I was reading it, 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 that says flat out that, no, I want to be a politician so I can get the contracts and, you know. Right. Right, right. Well, I, you know, the thing is, is that uh, sometimes we talk about, uh, or, you know, we, we talk about this information, okay? Right. And sometimes what, what happens is, look, people run away from fear. And so, and most folks want to be able to have control. Okay, we're talking about oh, control. Big time. Well, big time. people want to be able to have control of their life or, or what have right. you. And then when it comes to the market, sometimes people will shy away because they, they believe it's, you know, it's the us versus them and, and we're so small or, or what have you. But the reality is, that's why my, my response to Mark was more about, you know, just get your head wrapped around the, the patterns and the information and the volume here. You don't, you don't have to have fear. Now, you know, and, you, and, and, in fact, and, you can embrace the fear because you will learn to be able to make money on the fear and the because you see, and, and see I, those patterns. No, you're absolutely and right. Just, and, and I'm glad you're clarifying because I don't even like to bring up the aspect of what I was just talking about, folks, okay? Um, and the reason is that most folks really don't understand what it is to put them down. Right, you know, right, And, right, and right, I don't blame right, you. Right. And it shouldn't, okay? Right. Um, and there's no reason to have that fear, you know, because the, 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 the reasoning is, is keep your nose to the grindstone, make the bread, pay attention, okay? And, you know, tell them to go take a hike. I've told so many people to take a hike, it's insane. <laughs> and you know what, folks? Let me tell you something. They will take a hike. And, and, I, and this gets to the point, and now this, this is a crazy story. It's really not a crazy story, but it's understanding the Constitution. And, you know, my children, when they're growing up, and thank God they understand the Constitution upside down. And you get a picture of something. I, I will absolutely not let anyone on my property... If a cop comes up to my property outside, I tell them flat out, you get out in the street. And you're going to be really surprised, folks, how fast they get out in the street. Because you know what? The bottom line, no one's supposed to be on your property. Now, that is getting forgotten in the bigger context. Now, you can say that, what do you do that for? Well, I do that so everyone can understand where you stand. You know, bye. Gone. <laughs> you get something to say? And I don't care who that is, folks. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. 
You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650, but you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We get the Dow down 13. NASDAQ up 3. S&Ps are flat. We get gold off 6 bucks. Silver's down 10 cents. We got, uh, let's see, the bonds down 6 ticks. The dollar. Let's go take a look at this dollar index. DXH2. So... She's got down to 78.51, rejected that, has light of volume, which we need. Now you need to close inside, the best close would be inside 78.89, or at 78.73. A close inside the... Close up, so 78.90? Uh, or 78.89? 78. 0.890. Yeah, and where I'm going with that, folks, that means you're back inside the range. The only what I'm not using is the downdraft of the 78.74. You could, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. the first downdraft. The second one was there. You get inside that range again. That's saying that okay. Bottom line is that we get the 79.66 in play again. We go over to the euro. We take a look at the euro. Let's, okay, so the euro. Yeah, she's at 132. And if she gets into 132.34, that's 
that gets it back in the lower range also. And in, in the euro, all the euro is doing, uh, it, it got into the first downdraft from October 3rd as well as the downdraft of uh, the 12th, you know. So that bottom line is a dead cat bounce. You know, we'll see uh, what it can do from there. Yeah, it's up against a pretty decent uh, resistance because it's a, a 786 retracement off of the high going back to December 8th. Right. It's also a 382 retracement coming off of the October 27th, you know, and then you yeah. got this expansion right here, 1.414. So it, it's a... Uh, it's up against some pretty good, you know, if it busts through here, you know, it's, then it's absolutely on its way up to the uh, 618 area. But it's, right. it's up against some good re, uh, good resistance. And if we take a look at the bond, so the, the bond, folks, the, 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 this market's going down because the bond is squeaking also. And what you have is this. The bond got down, this is the 30-year now, that got down to uh, 140, 123 today. It has 155,000 contracts. It's going into 400,000. It got below low lows of yesterday and now it's above them and that's that's what you need and in fact you know it's pretty sick here look at this this is actually crazy so the bond has been in this tight consolidation but what you actually have is one two three you get four higher lows yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter and you know the bottom line you know uh it looks that it wants to break topside again and yeah, is that bizarre? No doubt. It's absolutely bizarre. Yes, and uh, I, I know some of the tigers in the den, I, I, uh, uh, they're saying, let's see, that Kramer said sell the TLT. Okay. So the TLT, folks, is the 20-year, uh, the, the iShares 20-year. Now, if that bond goes topside, and to me, it's, it definitely wants to go back up to, well, the TLT wants to go to 125, and you're at 116. So, this is going to get bizarre. You're, you're, you're not following Kramer's advice and selling? Well, I, I, someone just in the den, I didn't I didn't hear this, but someone in the I, den said that, yeah. no, it says, uh, Kramer said sell the TLT. Yeah. And, you know, I, I can tell you, folks, that it, there's no doubt that the bonds has to go like that. It sounds insane, but they, they want to go there. It, this thing is tight, and they want to go there, yeah. you know? And, you know, you know. It probably has something to do with, uh, you know, I remember the call the other day saying if the bonds are going down, right, 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 the money's right, yeah. got to go in stocks. Right, right, right. Who knows, right, right, you know, right. but uh, this market, folks, uh, and the king dollar, you can see the, the correlation is direct. And it's it's fast. And if we go over to Europe for a second, you know, one of the Tigers was saying yesterday he, would, he wished the, the great deal, something would get down because he figures they'll, they'll sell it. And I think he's right. That's, I, I th yeah, I think he's so, right. Saw in the news. Yeah. I think he's right, I, I, and, yeah, and it'll it'll be insane. If we go over to the uh, energy sector, the XLE, uh, XLE got over the highs of that uh, seventy three nineteen. If you close under seventy three nineteen, that's it. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. Going up to Newton, Mass. We get Basil Chapman eleven to twelve out to Tucson, Arizona. Larry Pesavento back here to Tampa three to four and four to six. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Take care, folks.